Russian President Vladimir Putin's historic visit to Egypt, uh, quite a successful visit. And uh, both the Egyptian and the Russian president took quite large strides in Egyptian-Russian bilateral relations. We'll be discussed with the distinguished panel right after this. So please stay with us. Of Allah, it gives me pleasure to welcome His Majesty President Vladimir Putin, the President of Russia, and I take this opportunity to convey my greetings and sincere friendship freely towards His Majesty and his country and the people of Russia. Uh, out of uh, the courageous positions and situations taken towards Egypt uh, in critical times that we faced uh, during the last two, day, two years. And I'm feeling great pleasure that this visit comes in that uh, critical time to emphasize uh, the situation of uh, Russia in, uh, towards Egypt and the fight against uh, terrorism. Also, it confirms uh, the development uh, in uh, the relation between both countries since uh, the revolution of 30th June. It adds uh, to the achievements uh, that happened in the last visit to Russia uh, to enhance uh, the relations with uh, Russia and to open uh, new windows for this uh, relation. I reviewed with uh, His Majesty President Putin uh, the uh, situation in regarding different issues. We reaffirmed uh, the, our situation regarding the strategic relation between Egypt and Russia and the continuity to uh, exchange visits to exchange uh, opinions regarding mutual uh, relations, international issues, regional issues uh, that, is, uh, uh, that have a common interest. Чувствуем и испытываем глубокое уважение к президенту Российской Федерации и народу Российской Федерации за то неизменное содействие. И хотим еще раз подтвердить, что Российскую Федерацию и Арабскую Республику Египет объединяют схожие позиции по ключевым вопросам международной повестки дня, будь то борьба с международным терроризмом и другие актуальные вопросы двустороннего взаимодействия, а также as well as uh, the continued cooperation between both countries in different international forums to uh, support the different uh, issues. I confirm to the President Putin that it is necessary to continue our cooperation during this critical stage. We confirm again uh, the necessity to enhance the economic cooperation between both uh, countries to uh, support uh, the uh, trade investment between both countries and also to uh, remove obstacles facing uh, the uh, specific uh, sectors like the uh, uh, with uh, crops. We agreed on uh, the facilitation of establishing a free zone between uh, Egypt and Russia in order to widen uh, the trade uh, relations with uh, uh, Russia and the other countries of uh, the Federation.
welcome back. We're joined in the studio with His Excellency Ambassador Wahid al Minewi, who was the former advisor to the Egyptian Foreign Minister, and he's a member of the Egyptian Council for Foreign Affairs. A pleasure to have you with us. My pleasure. With us also Thank this you. evening is Dr. Salah Nusair, professor or expert in research and development. A pleasure to have you with us. Um, Your Excellency, let me um, uh, start off with not the significance, but maybe in the press conference, one of the statements that sort of um, caught my attention. It was a statement by both presidents that said there is an intent, so to speak, in uh, the formation of some kind of uh, a system, an organization to um, ensure um, that the, there is a, a fair uh, dealing with different issues on an international scale. And uh, I'm trying here to translate this statement to the best of my knowledge, but it seems that, that they're interested in the formation of some kind of an entity that would carry out this equal, unbiased, impartial, what? Well, anyway, I'm thinking that this uh, historical visit, it is a historical visit, mm. And I am considering it a turning point in the relations, not only in the bilateral relations, mm. but it's going to affect the uh, political uh, balance in the Middle East and subsequently in the world. Okay. So uh, that's why it is historical, because although there was perhaps not everything have been announced, but uh, it's quite obvious that the two countries are understanding each other very nicely. Uh, and they are convinced with, with uh, the two parties what are they doing mm. for their uh, own countries, what's the role they are going to take. Mm. And uh, they have agreed on, I think, everything that they have discussed, including very important matters, whether bilateral, or regional or international okay when it comes to the issue of some kind uh, the what the message i got personally is that uh, th there's supposed to be like some kind of an entity that would do the job of the united nations for example which is to govern uh, equally is this an intent or did i misread the, the uh, i i don't get it quite get it uh, to the united nations what do you mean no i'm saying this is what the sense that that i personally uh. got that they're referring to an organization that would do the job of something like the united nations for example you know the united nations has a lot of difficulties uh, no doubt of that uh, especially the security council mm because of very well uh, known uh, reasons. Mm. So uh, I'm thinking that, that's why I said it, it is historic, that this is the start uh, of a lot of things that are going to develop and happen. Mm. And uh, as I'm repeating again, that they will have their impact mm. on the regional, bilateral, and the world affairs. Mm. Um, Dr. Nusir, um, we've been looking forward to um, President Putin's visit to Egypt. Um, there are lots of expectations from Russia. <coughs> As an Egyptian, what are, you ex what are your personal expectations? Well, <coughs> I think today they, they had covered most of one would think of. Mm. which was, to me, uh, you know, quite impressive. Mm. Because practically they, they left no major point without covering. Mm. I was really su truly surprised. Mm. Uh, especially uh, uh, with, with the R&D, mm. uh, you know, experience of, of mine, we went and we had uh, have been preparing for, for, for something like this to happen. But not that uh, exclu I mean, uh, all inclusive, may I say. Okay. Okay. So with this, with this, I say, uh, I refer your question to what happened today. They covered mostly everything. As w what, in your opinion, are the success factors? 
Because this well, is what this th is the message. Th th this is this is exactly what I mean. They cover the the, the success factors. Such they as? truly such as well. Let's see what they covered. Mm. <coughs> they covered the external affairs. Mm. I'm not talking here diplomatic. I'm talking here as a systems. By R and D, I mean systems. Mm. System. Uh, they covered the, our relation with uh, external. They covered the relation geographically mm. by to talking about uh, areas, you know, media, you know, it, it's a wide scope. Mm. And, and they covered the space, you know. They mm. said that we would have something in the, in the space uh, together. By together here, it, the space means a whole lot to, to me, uh, not only from the uh, military standpoint, but also from the, the economic development standpoint. Uh, uh, second, they covered, <coughs> they covered trade, they covered economic development, mm. they covered infrastructure support, they mm. covered education, they covered, uh, you know, a whole, uh, they covered, uh, for example, uh, uh, no, not only that, they covered the, 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 the area investment within the, uh, the Suez Canal, when they covered mm. this, and this is very important when you're talking about having a, <coughs> uh, a free zone yes. for trade. Mm. They, we have a, a, a special zone for industry. Uh, the infrastructure, I come back mm. to it. I mean, let, let's face it, high damage infrastructure. Mm. They, co they mentioned uh, uh, the, the, the uh, railroad system. They mentioned the transportation system. If mm. you start with all these and then come